Jason Hall with DoorGrow here. So I have worked with hundreds of property management clients and I've noticed some common problems, some common challenges, some things they've dealt with. They're things that I've dealt with personally as a business owner of a service-based business. There's a lot of similarities. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this problem just to make sure you're aware of it. So first, there's what I call the cycle of suck. So basically the cycle of suck is this. You take on any client and you get some crappy clients. So crappy clients, then you have crappy properties or they are crappy properties to manage and then you have crappy tenants to manage or they become crappy tenants because they're not happy with the property and then based on having crappy tenants and crappy owners and everybody isn't happy you're getting negative reviews there you go and negative reviews means you have a poor reputation online which kills just about all marketing and then you continue to attract crappy clients this is the cycle of suck a lot of property management companies are stuck in this cycle and don't know how to escape like they they look at this and go okay I think I know how to get out of this but they're stuck in it right now and because you're stuck in it right now you're blind to why you're in that because you're doing things the way you know best how to do them and you're stuck in this cycle okay the next thing um, I want you to take a look at is your sales pipeline. So this is where there are massive leaks financially in your business. So you put a bunch of money, time, energy, resources, everything into this bucket of marketing and then in, into your business. And then what happens is some of that is not effective. You're not doing very effective marketing. It's very common to do marketing that you think is effective with a property management marketing firm and to find out later that they really aren't getting you the leads or the things that you want. Now what happens with this marketing is you have some leaks, it's not very effective and then you do some uh, website maybe and your website has leaks and isn't effective. It doesn't have the elements necessary in order to create trust and attract sales. It's probably targeted sometimes towards tenants instead of owners and so you're missing out on business there and then from your website you're going to get some leads and sales. So a lot of property managers have a really terrible sales process. It's usually something like this. Answer all their questions on the phone, send them a proposal, maybe check out the property, and then um, send a proposal. So answer questions and send a proposal and get signatures. That's it. That works great if all of your business is word of mouth. But if you're getting traffic through marketing and through a website and whatever, that's when you start to notice that you're not even really doing sales. You're just getting signatures. And so sales is a big gap and a lot of property managers running businesses do not think of themselves as, themselves as a salesperson, right? Sales, you have to be a salesperson. That's the lifeblood of the business. So if you're not getting very, if you're leaky in sales, then comes service, right? Providing service, running the business, your existing contracts, and you probably have leaks there. Your retention rate, if these things aren't going well, your retention rate here is also going to be low. So you're going to be losing clients, losing business. And then eventually gets to this little plant you're trying to grow, which is your business. And if your business is leaky through all of this, you may have leaks in your processes and other stuff as well. And then you take what money you have left available for marketing and you put it back into this really shitty funnel that you've created. And this, and what, what's the consequences of being stuck in the cycle of suck, spending a bunch of money and not being clear on where and why you should be spending money and not knowing if it's effective or not, is you are stuck in this business that isn't serving you. You're now a slave to your business. You're now a slave to crises that are popping up constantly. Your stress level is infinitely higher than it can be. Do you want to keep doing that for 10 more years, 20 more years? and then hopefully retire and by then you've probably burned everything to the ground including your body right because that's the first thing to go out of the window when we're overly stressed we don't take care of our body we don't eat right we don't sleep well we have more stress you're being so you've lost complete sight of your spiritual or purpose in life your focus as to why you do things you're prioritizing things. Your balance, which is your relationships with your spouse, with your kids, has suffered because you're not able to be present because you're so worried about this business you're running. 
and your business overall is dragging all of these because they're all tethered and isn't able to grow or expand and you're not able to think clearly or be present when you're with your clients, right? So you end up also as a business owner when you're, we attract and bring in people in our business that all say yes to us, right? So your existing clients like are like, yeah, okay, we're working with you, but your team, your team that you've built, all of them say yes. Yes, Jason, we will do what you want. Yes, you're the greatest. Yes, whatever. So you end up being what some people call king of the shitheads. So basically, you are king of this, this little domain that you have built that supports you in all these sucky processes and cycles. And there's no accountability there. There's nobody to coach you, keep you accountable, help you see your blind spots because you're probably the smartest guy on the little island. You're probably the smartest guy in your little kingdom and you don't have anybody to give you this outside perspective to help you escape the cycle of suck, help you escape the massive leaks in your business. And so where do you end up? You end up with body being balanced business all going down the toilet, incredible stress, marriages fail, bodies fail, crises from crises to crises to crises in every area. And then eventually it shows up in business. You're just going from crises to crises, managing problems. And this is why, as an entrepreneur, this is why they don't have accountability to anyone, really. They don't have association with somebody that can help them level up. They don't have the knowledge, resources, and insights. And so they feel lonely. I know it feels incredibly isolating as an entrepreneur until I started doing coaching and working with coaches, high level coaches. I just dropped 10 grand on a coach until I started doing coaching. I was not able to see, I was too close to the fire. I couldn't see beyond these problems. So what are the consequences of this? So here are the consequences. One, if you're trapped in the cycle of suck and you've got these massive leaks in your business and all this stress, you're gonna have incredibly high overhead. One crappy property will take the energy and effort and resources of 100 easy or good properties, right? You're gonna have a poor reputation. You're gonna have weak cash flow. You're gonna be struggling to pay team members sometimes, struggling to pay yourself and maybe sometimes. Maybe that's working for you, maybe it's not, but you'll have low retention rate on clients which means you're gonna have really stagnant growth, especially if you have all these accidental investors. They don't even want your services. They don't want property management. You take the, them on and then you end up with clients that are leaving every year, even though you're getting clients every year and you're not able to grow. And then poor sales, right? Crappy sales, you're not, you don't have a high close rate, so you're spending tons on marketing and there's a big gap in this process, right? So, how do you get past all of this? I'm gonna paint a picture for you in the next video that tells you how I can help you get beyond all of this. And I'm gonna give you some real tips, some real ideas, so even if you don't work with me, you'll get some real good value out of this so that you can level up your property management business, take it to the next level, and hopefully have some money to work with us and do some awesome stuff. We are hands down the best property management marketing firm in existence. Nobody competes with us. Well, people compete with us, but we get their clients and their clients are giving us glowing reviews and saying they were shitty. So here's the deal. I'm a property management expert because I've worked with so many property managers. My brother does property management in Orange County. Um, I've got tons of high level clients. Like we as a web design agency would only attract clients that really had serious money to spend. We're talking, you know, three to 10 grand on a website. So I've worked with some of the best property managers throughout the US. I spend a lot of time on every project getting to know their business intimately, finding out what they do well, what they don't do well. And I'm able to see what the differences are between those. I'm able to see and give them insights because I've seen what other businesses are doing with those challenges that they're currently experiencing. I've seen common challenges like some of these things that I've told you about. And some of them have gotten real with me and I see the stress and the burden and the difficulty of running a business because I've been there as well. I have experienced firsthand the loneliness, the isolation, the lack of accountability, the, the crappy clients in my own business. Not only that, but I'm at the cutting edge, the forefront of what is working. Web design is a crazy competitive industry. Internet marketing, crazy competitive industry. 
it is cutthroat, bl bloody, you know, there's, and I'm up on whatever the latest tactics, trends, and strategies are so that I can compete. I'm able to take a lot of the things that I learn, the majority of them, and shift them towards the mindset of a property manager and share those with my clients. So we are constantly leveling up, learning, improving our business, and sharing these things with our clients. So if you want to escape this cycle suck, you want to level up your business, you want to see some gaps and problems that you haven't been experiencing, put your email in. Put your email in on this page that you're on right now, and I will see you on the other side. Because there's people counting on you. Your team is counting on you. 50% of all businesses fail in the first year. 90%, 90% fail in the first five years. Maybe you've hit that five year mark, but maybe you're still struggling. I've been there, it's painful. There's some difficult steps, like one is just shifting everything from being on your shoulders to a team. That's painful, that's hard. Maybe you've gotten beyond that. I've gotten beyond that. But then there's new challenges. It's difficult. So enter in your email, and I will see you on the other side and teach you some cool stuff.